are any of you feeling stressed right now? Honestly, I am. And the reason for me feeling stressed are all the other finalists of the three minute thesis contest. And of course the cameras which are pointing at me. Did you ever imagine what animals go through when they are stressed? and what kind of stress they could be exposed to. Think about all the animals living in the oceans, in the rivers. They could be exposed to different kinds of stressors. There could be temperature variations, there could be food scarcity, there could be a chemical spill. My research tries to focus on an environmental problem like this. So I'm trying to understand the effects of multiple stressors on a freshwater organism called Daphnia. And the multiple stressors are specifically the two stressors which I'm trying to study in a, one part of my research are these two environmentally relevant contaminants called atrazine and triclosan. Atrazine is a much debated pesticide, many of us are aware of it. And what is triclosan? It is found in our toothpaste. So what I initially did was I tried to expose my animals, the test animals, to these chemicals individually in order to understand at what concentrations these chemicals are toxic to these animals. And then I expose my animals to a mixture of these chemicals. We noticed something interesting when we did that experiment. We saw that the animals started surviving better when they're exposed to these two contaminants together. Now, what is the reason? As a biologist, I was curious. And I performed further in experiments and investigations into this. We found that atrazine, which is this pesticide, is inducing some antioxidant enzymes which are protective, which are acting as protection to these animals from the toxicity of the other chemical, which is a contaminant, which is triclosan. So which was interesting. Now, you must be asking me the question, why is this research important? The truth is a lot of research has already been done in order to understand the effect of individual chemicals, pollutants, or stressors in the environment but not a lot has been yet understood about the effect of these stressors as a mixture or together. And that is exactly what I'm trying to understand. Who could use any kind of research results like this is the next question. Environmental organizations, industries, regulatory agencies, all these kind of people could use research results of this nature in order to understand or solve environmental risk assessment problems. And I have a strong belief that my research could have a deep impact on solving larger global environmental problems. Thank you.